Guys, just imagine if you have pets and you're leaving home with this calm feeling that your doggies are being monitored, supervised, taken care of, and you are being given a complete update about their movements and crying and whatnot, as if like you've left your babies with a babysitter. So, guys, if this thought kind of excites you at all, then you need to watch my video in the, till the end because I'm talking about the Furbo doggy camera. And guys, that's not all because in your absence, it actually actually feeds your pets with treats as well. So guys, you have the camera right here and this is the outlet where the treats come from. We have the other bit that goes into the electric socket. So this goes right here. If you can see this light here, this means the machine is now on. So if this turns blue, that means someone is in front of the camera. If this goes purple, that means it's offline. So you got to check, check the connection settings. So guys, this lid comes off and this is where the treats go and there is a max line see it says max so we will not exceed that once the machine is all set you can see the yellow light you can go ahead and download the furbo app on your mobile so guys once you log on to the furbo app on your mobile it's going to ask you to select the device so we're going to select the furbo 360 degree door camera so we're going to hit the next button so we're going to select the area for me this is the living room name your furbo device so uh, let's just continue with living room so guys, now we have the blinking yellow light this is a prerequisite in order to connect the two devices Hi. Hi. so next it's going to give you instructions with respect to your doggy's feet so guys you need to make sure the feet should be dry firm round and it has to be around 0.5 inches for best treat toss result. Hi Gucci, how are you? Do you want to have a treat? So I'm going to just swipe up for tossing treats. So guys, this user manual is pretty useful. It gives you directions and some, you know, placement guidelines as in how to place the camera. Of course, you can place it anywhere in the home, but it clearly says it has to be three to four feet of the ground that is kind of the height and it's it should be within 15 feet of your wi-fi router and in an uncluttered space for maximum coverage and 360 degree rotation and guys just in case you're wondering the camera does have a night vision and guys it also has sensors so whenever your doggies are barking it's gonna sense and send you notifications on your phone and of course you can check with the camera the camera has the 4x zoom so it's it's really cool so guys, if you love your pets, get them the Furbo camera.